Okay, we continue uh, the format menu with the taper. As you can see, this is a taper. It's for making the object in, the, in this direction in a taper shape. I insert a cylinder as you, as I said before, it's very important to the deformer that we increase our segments, object segment to deformer effect better on object. <coughs> The best way for assigning the deformer to the object, as I said before, is holding shift. First, you have to select object, holding shift, and click taper. As you can see, two things happen. If you insert a taper, just click and insert it. As you can see, we have a adjusted box here. But it automatically fit to object, go into the position of the object, and make the up make the taper child of the uh, cylinder the deformer comment have to be child of the object as you can see and now we are going to its uh, sitting and change the strengths all of the taper fit to the object in this sitting will be activate and you can change the taper like this you can change the curvature, more curve or linear curve. If you activate fillet, we have an a small, we have an a fillet at the bottom and the end of the taper. Okay, for explaining, right click on this arrow for make it the default. For explaining the modes and the fit to object, I will be change the size of the taper like this. If you want to fit to the object again, click or fit to the parent. Okay, I change the y, -x, the y size of the taper. In a limited mode, as you can see, if you change the taper, it's just act, it just affect the inviting box of the, or this area of the object. Because it taper the um, top of the taper object as this arrow, as you can see but it has to be made thinner that top. It's inevitable, okay? But if you, if you activate Witten box, as you can see, we can just change within the box. It just changed in space. And does not work any bit object that are uh, out of that box area. When you go to the limit and change the strengths, as you can see, the <coughs> taper comment just acts from its bottom to above, to top of the object in this direction. But if you enable unlimited and change the... Oh, oh sorry, because the fillet will be active, as I said before, when you active the fillet, unlimited will be not affect. And as you can see, if you change unlimited, it's uh, a little effect at the bottom of the object. But the most effect are at the top of the object. It's unlimited. As you can see, if you with limit, the bottom of the uh, comment will be not affect. As you can see, the taper effect is at most effect is at the top. You can change the taper position like this and make an interesting effects okay and um, this is a fillet another important tab of the any deformer is field that I will explain in a separate lessons when we reach to the cloner I explain there but I explained a little in a previous lesson in a blend. You can refer to the blend lesson to um, understanding a little about the field. As I said before, if you want to assign the deformer to the object that has a hierarchy and another object be beside them, for example, this uh, extrude, you can do like this simply holding shift and click and taper to. <coughs> uh, 
changing the position of the taper and the fit to the object, fit to the parent, click and drag and release the taper of the <coughs> extrude as you can see it does not affect the object for affecting the object you have to create a null this is another benefit of the null select both of them and click and drag on the extrude this is a cylinder I don't need that as you can see there are the taper the command and the object are the next to each other and the taper affect the object now and this is more clear for you if you if the taper is uh, child of the extrude at that way you will confuse but this is the nice way that uh, we bring them both of them under the null the hierarchy the topper of a uh, down mode which is which is one top which is one down is not important just they have to next to each other and act like this Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.